I want to welcome you guys to the grand finale of the first season of Masses in the Making, Guyana. If you guys have been watching since day one, I appreciate you guys for making it all the way to this point. Nothing but love. And of course, you guys know in the grand finale, we have to go out with a bang. So I'm going to bring on a very special guest. But for now, let me show you guys the first part of how we make the Metamji soup. Okay, so today's dish is very important to me. We are making my number one comfort food, Metamji soup. Metamji is deeply rooted in the culture of the African Guyanese. Metamji was always that meal that you look forward to after getting home from church to relax, unwind, and enjoy a nice hearty meal with your family and God heavily stressed in the Bible the observance of the Sabbath. He believed that we should really have that one day where we could really focus on our mental well-being, our physical well-being, and above all, our spiritual well-being. And a nice warm bowl of metamji soup, you just cannot go wrong with that. Okay, so for this dish, we're gonna make some fried fish. Now, I already made a green seasoning earlier in the series, but when I'm making fried fish, I like to make my seasonings nice and fresh, right? So that they're just, they just hit a little bit different when they're freshly chopped up. All right, so we're gonna go on with some uh, red onions. We're gonna go on with some garlic, some shallot or scallions. Y'all know my favorite, the marred my pork. Tick leaf thyme some sweet peppers that we got from the garden. I'm gonna go on with one hot pepper, is a cayenne, right? And we're gonna keep the seeds in there because one should be the right amount of heat for this. Let's put this on. And Man, this is everything that you want to smell in the seasonings. Just knowing that this is going to go on the fish, I'm already, my t appetite is already going. Okay, so now we're going to season our herbs and peppers. I'm going to go on with just some salt. I'm going to go on with some fish seasoning. Just get the favorite one of your choice, half a cube. I'm going to go on with a little bit of obey. And if there's one thing Guyanese people know for sure, fish needs a lot of black pepper. All right, so we're gonna go with a lot of black pepper. All right, so now let's just mix that up, mix everything in there. Okay, so the fish that we're gonna use for this is some red snapper. If you ever go into the fish market and you're looking for the best quality fish, couple things you wanna look for. You wanna look on the inside, make sure there's no burns. And number one, you really wanna look at the eye. You see how clear that eye is? So there's no redness in there. That's how you know this fish is fresh. It just got out the water, this is good to go. Okay, so if you ever get into a position like me and you run out of some lemons, I know of this old Guyanese trick in order to get out that rank flavor from the fish. Special ingredient, a little bit of flour, some water will take care of the job. Give it a try and you tell me, leave a comment below what you think. We're gonna just put some flour all over this. I'm gonna get it all over the fish. Now this is like, this is going real traditional right now. We're gonna just give this a rinse off. Make sure it's nice and clean. There's no flour left on it. Okay. Then we're gonna take it out and let's pat it dry. First, I'm gonna make a cut right here. And then I'm gonna push the knife in and then I'm gonna go all the way out here. Now I'm gonna turn it this way and I'm gonna get right underneath and then we're gonna come around on this side, right? And you hear that 
tickling sound. That's the bone, so it's kind of like a guitar string. So you want to get nice and deep down to the bone when you're getting this off, all right? Now, sometimes you'll get just a little bit of bone on top, so you have to be careful. And then I also like to make a cut right here, right? And then we'll come along this way and try to stay, get as much meat as you can off. Okay, now that's one fillet, and let's do it this way, skin side, skin side down. All right, and now you can see there's some bone there, so you just wanna clean that up. Right, you wanna feel along the middle right here, and you wanna get a nice fish tweezer, all right? And you pull, and then you get the bone out. All right, because when you're eating, you want a nice, clean bite. You don't want to, you don't want to feel taste, and you don't want to fight through any bone. I'm gonna just put the seasonings all over that, all right? And I'm gonna put some over here too. And I'm gonna do both sides. All right, just put one on top of the other. So now we're gonna take these two, right? We're gonna put it in our seal bag. So let's put this in here. Close that up. Okay. So now, this is good. We're just gonna put this in the fridge. Now we're on to the metamji. These are all the ingredients we're gonna need to make this dish. This right here is a mix of, these are some uh, sweet potatoes I got from my garden. We also got some of the Guyanese sweet potatoes and I just also put that in the mix. We got some, uh, this is not a traditional ingredient, but we got some Irish potatoes that I also got from the garden, cassava, we got some edo, and we got some sweet plantains. These are gonna be going in after we done cook through. I'm gonna leave a link to all of this, right? Of course, we're gonna make this with some fresh homemade coconut uh, milk. I showed you guys in the last episode how to make that. So if you miss it, just go to the episode prior and you'll see how to make some homemade coconut milk. When you're making metamji soup, you need fresh coconut milk. It just doesn't taste the same if you have the canned stuff. Okay, so first I'm gonna go on with some butter and then I'm gonna go on with a little bit of oil because I wanna make sure that the butter doesn't burn. So now, now we're gonna go on with some uh, onions and garlic. some peppers all right so I'm just gonna put some adobo in now and I'm gonna also put my cube in now I'm going with a nice whole cube now this really blooms all of these seasonings I'm gonna go in with some black pepper okay so now we're gonna go with our coconut milk Remember to leave back some of the coconut milk because we're gonna need this for the duff. Okay, so I'm just gonna give this a little taste to see where we're at. This is 
good. I'm gonna go on with some of the adobo. Remember the seasonings that we use a little bit earlier for the fish? It's nice and fresh, but we're gonna go on with some of that as well. Now let's mix this up and then we'll give it another taste. That's it. That's exactly where we want this to be. The salt is good. The coconut flavor is nice. And I'm getting all of the seasonings. It's not overpowering on the seasoning. It feels just right. Okay, so I know a lot of my guy needs them. I know y'all watching the provision and y'all like, man, why are these cuts so small? All right, now the reason is because for the plating, I need them to be nice and small, but you don't have to do it this way when you make it. So now we're just gonna go on with, with these. And now that all the provisions is in, we're gonna go on with a little bit of shallow and some of the thick beef thyme. And we'll mix that in. We'll bring that up to a boil until it's nice and fork tender. Okay, so without further ado, I'd like to introduce you guys to the woman who is responsible for all of this. Quite literally, she gave birth to me, my mother. Blessed are those that walk in the favor of the Lord. A childlike and kind-hearted spirit filled with an uncompromising nature for moral integrity and formidable character. A life that's a light to so many. Her words means the most by her willingness to die by them. Her testimony and decision to stay true to her belief helped save me when I was at rock bottom. From swords to toothpicks, from mountains to anthills, and from the forest to flowers. So has her love for her children and her faith in God canceled every obstacle in her path. She's the only one of her kind. All right, so guys, uh, I want you to, if you're at home, I want you to give my mom a hand because it's my mother, stop playing, all right? Welcome to the show, Ma. So Ma, I want to thank you for agreeing to do this show with me. I know you're a little bit camera shy, but I really appreciate you stepping outside of your comfort zone and agreeing to doing this with me. I am so honored to have you on the show. Thank you. And I'm honored to be here. <laughs> <laughs> I must say I'm so happy about what you're doing. I am very much, very much proud of you. Thank you. And um, I pray that God would bless this business. Ah, uh, thank you so much, Ma. Thank you so Doesn't she look so gorgeous, guys? Come on. Can you believe this is my mother, man? Black does not crack, ladies and gentlemen. It absolutely does not. And I'm so, thank you. I'm so, well, thank now y'all you. know where it came from, you know? Stop playing. Now y'all know. <laughs> Okay, so the reason why I decided to bring my mom on for this part is because she is a master at making the duff, which is you cannot have metamji soup without the duff. And she knows how to get that nice puff in the pot unlike anybody else. So Ma, you're gonna take them through how to make it, all right? We're gonna add some sugar, and then we have some baking soda, and then we have some baking powder, some butter, and we have a little salt. So now we're gonna have some coconut milk. And in Guyana, we use coconut milk. It adds a lot of flavor. Coconut milk is also lactose-free, and it's really good for your cardiovascular system. All right, so mom, while you're mm -hmm. mixing, mm -hmm. um, there's this question that I wanted to ask you, but I figured I'd wait until we do the show because I'm sure that people want to know too. All right, uh, what is your favorite all-time memory of me? Let's go right now. <laughs> well, I know what that is. <laughs> While I was pregnant with Justin, I had a doctor's appointment and you were there with me. And um, on our way back, there was this beautiful flower garden and you ran and you picked this, you pick a rose and you, you bring it to me and you was like, here is a rose for the pretty lady. <laughs> and that just, you know, lightened up my whole day at the time. It was a little dumb. So that just, you know, lightened up my whole day. <laughs> I'll never forget that. <laughs> okay. All right. That's a pretty good one. That's a pretty good one. All right. Um, I'm not that sweet anymore. All right. Yes, you are. <laughs> so I'm going to ask you, what is your favorite memory of Oh, that's easy. That's easy. I, I know exactly 
what it is. Back in Kokwani, you had, uh, I remember you had a catering business, right? <laughs> right, so Ma had a catering business and she had all her customers, they were always so excited to see her. She would make her white pudding, right? She would make her icicles and popsicles. She would make all of, all of these delicious, amazing food. And there were times when mom would even get on her bike and she would make her rounds. And there were times where you would come home and you would be so exhausted, you'd be so tired. <laughs> and that was, that was just so inspiring for me to watch you, to watch Aww. you grind and get it for us. That is my favorite memory of you. Oh, that is so <laughs> nice to know. <laughs> right, and, and you know what else? Uh, the apple does not fall far from the tree. Keep Fit kitchen. kitchen, come on. Fit chicken. Fit chicken. <laughs> the pineapples in the bag, yes, bro. Sir. The Keep bike, yo, come special. on, man. Over. Under. <laughs> so now we're gonna add with some more milk. I'm gonna add a little flour to it. And the, the flour helps with like the kneading. The kneading. Okay, right, gotcha, right, gotcha. Right. Right. Let me tell y'all, the getting the texture of this right is is so. You got to be a real master to get the texture of this right. So now we're gonna have little balls of this. Okay, so we're gonna just do it like this. So we don't need too many for what we're gonna do. Of course, we're gonna make the rest of these later because we don't wanna waste anything. But I think this is good for the amount we need for the plating. This is the Metamg that we all know and love, all right? And of course, you gotta give it a taste to make sure the flavor is to be savored. <laughs> right? I think I'm gonna go with that, all right? Okay, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. The stuff melts. That's what I was gonna say, though. <laughs> The duck is good, the fish is crispy, all the provision and everything is nice and soft. Mm. This is really good. And you're getting that, that coconut flavor. Y'all know Metamji, we love the coconut. Delicious. If you guys are at home, all right, I want you to do me a favor. Pause the video, go get yourself a glass because we're gonna toast this thing out, <laughs> all right? First of all, I just wanna thank my family for staying by my side during this whole series. Uh, I have put them through a lot of long hours, sweat and tears, whether it was my mother in the kitchen or my brother uh, with the cameras. He is also a master in the making, young videographer, master in the making, right? Um, and I'm so <laughs> proud of all of them for all of their dedication to this project and to everything that I have set out to do this year. This is truly a vision from God and a vision for this family. And so from our family, the James family, to your family, Stay blessed, and we hope to see you in the next season. To God be all the glory. That's it. Cheers. Cheers.